What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and today we're going to be taking a look at me doing an upgrade to the offensive line. Now, I'm going to let you guys know exactly how it started. I'm going to show you right through here what you know what actually transpired. Now, yeah, transpired is a huge word. I don't know, bro. I'm not trying to act like I'm intelligent. I just heard it in a in a uh, a movie I was watching the other day. It's like, yo, the dude said transpired. I'm like, oh, okay. Yo, bro, let me use that. It probably it's probably completely out of context, but yeah, this is how it transpired, which means it happened. I don't know what's going on. Forget about forget about me ever saying that. Now, look, listen. I had to sell a lot of my tokens and stuff like that because I've been dead broke because I bought that Mike Vick, right? And he's turned out to be a really good card. So I'm keeping him for now. He took all my million. Uh, I had like a mil one point something million. He took my whole thing. So I've been kind of dead broke. So what I was looking for um, was a new right tackle because my right tackle, the Deardorff that I had, he was like a bum, the 93 overall. And I was trying to figure out, you know, what can I do? I got to get rid of this guy. This guy sucks. So I, had, I saw a snipe for... Um, one of the ultimate legend virgin, uh, versions of the Dan Deardorff. So this is what I try to tell you guys. I tell you guys to keep certain, like the gold tokens just on deck in your uh, binder for these reasons, because I forgot how much I had. I think I had like 300K, right? And I was able to complete this set for like 370. But let me just explain to you. The 94 overall, I was looking through because, you know, you guys have been telling me, I've been asking you guys like, yo, what's going on? You guys are like, yo, your offensive line sucks. You got to do something about the old line. I'm like, all right. You guys know more about, you know, you know this mutt thing than I do because you guys are always on it 24-7. I come on it, I play a couple hours, I stream, and then I get off of it. I don't even think about it. I try to keep my heart working properly, and I go on with my day. A lot of you guys endure a lot of stress dealing with it, and, yo, you, you guys are to be commended for it. But I'm not willing to go out like that. So I don't put in as much time as you guys do. Um, so, you know, I try to listen. A lot of you guys don't know what you're talking about, but you just say things. Like when you guys tell me that somebody can catch the ball, and we all know that everybody drops the ball the same way. Um, it's it's funny to me that you guys feel that way. But with this right here, I was like, right, you know what? My dear dog on the right side, he's been acting like an idiot, and he hasn't been blocking anybody. So I said to myself, we got we to gotta get rid of this guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right. I started going through, um, you know, pretty much like when you're in the auction house, I was just going through trying to snipe things, just snipe, 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 looking at, you know, time remaining. And somebody posted the 94 overall for like, hold on, how much, what, what did he post it for? Do I still have it here? Hold on, he posted it for like 200 and something. What was it? Two, yeah, 235, right? Now, before today, he was at like 270, 280. One, uh, a couple days ago, he's at 300. So I'm like, all right, I was watching him because he is a 97 overall and it is an upgrade from the, you know, from the deer that I had. So I'm like, all right. It turned out that I had enough to just get him, but I didn't have enough to get the other pieces. So I had to start selling off my gold tokens at record prices of 17K, bro. Because, listen, I got to do what I got to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I always try to keep, a, you know, some of these gold tokens on deck, bro. Just make sure you have it there because you never know when you're going to need to, like, you know, get a you know, 15K, 20K, something like that. And um, that's pretty much what happened. So I was able to do that. And, and get everything that I needed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and unlock him and let you guys see what's going on with him. I don't know how he plays. I'm going to have to put him into a game situation to see if he's raw. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to put him into a, uh, you know, a whole situation to see exactly how he works out. But originally, the card that I had, uh, the right tackle back way back when he was like that dude, he was a really good card. So if the ultimate legend is anything like that, he's probably going to be a stud. He's absolutely going to be a stud. And what we're going to do is we're going to use him with the toughness chem because that's going to add to his impact block. All right? So now that we got him, I think he's, he's going for like 500K. I'm not even sure exactly what he's doing, but we're going to go ahead and uh, promote him to the starter. Promote Dear yeah, Dirt to the start right tackle. Yep. All right? So we're going to put him in as, as right tackle as the starter, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about about the impact block. Now, the only thing that matters right now with the way that it is is that I still have Thomas on the other side, and he's pro the left tackles are not. Yo, the other dude that's there from the Rams, like he costs way too much. But this guy right here, I don't know. What, oh, he didn't come up at all. All right, well his impact blocking is at 99 though, and he has a yo 99 impact blocking, 99 strength. So this guy is a he, he's like a monster right now. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely something that you don't want to be in front of. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it works out for me because. Once I get the, see, I want to get, you know, my left side really, really solid because I just need my run game to be on point. The left tackle is just so expensive right now, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it. I might have to buy packs, you know what I'm saying, bro, to, like, try to up it. 
Um, I told you guys I bought, I put some money on my account because I had to go through the uh, the level 50 upgrade, and I showed you guys a lot of the packs that I opened, and um, you know the things that I got. I got a lot of garbage. Obviously, that's why I didn't really accumulate any coins. So I'm gonna have to look into that. But what I can do, they have a two minute warning solo. We could go ahead and jump into the solo real quick. Uh, are we do we have the ball? Winning 30. All right, so we're winning, but I don't know if we get the ball back, and I could try to see exactly what he's doing. But I'm gonna tell you this right now, though. Regardless of the situation, this that card is a goon. When he's chemmed up like that, and that the impact blocking is so ridiculous. Let me just explain something to you. You see, what happened is with Madden 25. For you guys that are new to like the whole Madden thing, I've been playing Madden since Madden was created. I was very very young, but I was getting my butt whipped at a very young age, so I kind of remember it. But Madden throughout the years, they've done things that, you know, sometimes it's been fail, you know, failures, whatever, and they kind of make up for it the next year. What happened with Madden 25, Madden 25 was a really good game that had some things that just needed to be adjusted. Like very, very minor things that needed to be adjusted, but EA took it way too far because the pancake blocking in Madden 25 was wild when dudes had like that impact blocking and um they were like uh I forgot, there was like a specific name in franchise for the guys. And I can't remember the name. I can't remember the kind of trait that they had to have, but they used to just run right over you. It wasn't. It, it wasn't even close. It was just really, really wild and ridiculous. So EA decided to, you know, change it up a little bit. Like, yo, we can't be having guys pancaking. So they took it out of the game. But we all know, if you know anything about football, dudes get pancake, bro. Like, if you if you have a really, um, you know, fat guy that's going up against a little tiny linebacker dude, like. You know, at least 400, 500 pound linemen. Bruh, when they put those hands on you, you're going to get pancaked. But what happened was, they it was too much. They had that buck sweep play, and dudes was cheesing in it. And EA was like, look, they got to... That, that's what's weird. That's when they first started to actually listen to complaints. And then they changed it up. And then, you know, it, it just became a nightmare after that. Madden 15, they completely took it out of the game. Why are these guys doing that? I don't know what's going on. Why did everybody just pinch over like that? I, okay, what? Hold on, what is Calvin doing? Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 bro. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, yo, bro, what was that about? How did this? So, all right, so it's a two-minute warning. All right, did it go yet? Let's just, just go ahead. Go ahead. It's third and two. So they're going to go for it. They're probably going to throw a pick right here if everything is good. I just really want to see. I'm, I'm going to run the ball to deer off side and, like, see. And I know you guys are like, yeah, but it's a solo and it's arcade mode. Bro, let me tell you something. They block the same exact way in competitive mode. If they block crazy right now, they're going to block crazy in the game. And, and let me tell you something. Even with all the different modes, simulation, um, you know, what is it, arcade and competitive, it's pretty much when, when, you're, when you're playing against the CPU, right, it can turn into any mode because the CPU just starts cheating. Like right there, Champ Bailey's going to play that. Okay, drop on the ground. Champ Bailey's going to play that the same way in competitive mode. And I have so many full games that show you that. So don't, don't get it twisted. They're going to react and do the same exact things. The only thing is they open themselves up to a little bit more fluke. So he's on this side right here. Why is he reviewing it? The ball touched the ground. So what? Why is he reviewing it? Everybody know the ball touched the ground, but it's an interception in Madden 18. Why are you reviewing it? Come on, bro. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, Ian, yeah, don't waste my time, bro. All right, so he's right there, bro. Dan, Dan, bro. Dan dared off. All right, so here we go. Why is Ogden still in my game? I got to take him out of my game. I don't need subs, bro. My guys play the entire, bro, the entire game and never get a rest. All right, Bo Jackson's going to go there. We're going to leave, we leave Michael Irvin there? All right, we'll leave Michael Irvin there. He's a playmaker. All right, so look, we're going to run the ball to the right, and we're going to watch We're gonna watch 72 over there, and we're going to also ID that guy. And I just want to see how he – okay, he look, he took that guy completely out to play. Did you – hold up. Let me see. Okay, stop, okay, stop breaking tackles, man. Hey, you freaking – look, listen, let's go ahead and dissect it real quick. Let me just dissect it really quickly. All right, all right, all right. Uh, bam, let's go to the Insta replay real quick. All right, hold up. We got to take a look at this guy right here. Let's see what he does because he takes them completely out of the play. Yeah, this guy is just done. You see this? And that's Casey Hayward, okay? Regardless of what you think, you're like, yeah, bro, it ain't going to happen in the game. The guy's arm is through his body. Look, as long as Deardorff can do that, as long as Deardorff can do that right there, it's a wrap because that's all I really need. Now, with that play and the stretch play, right, which is those are like, you know, two of the main plays that I usually run. So we got him there, and then we're gonna um, we're gonna put Bo Jackson right there at tight end, and then we're gonna run the stretch play, right? With these plays, as long as he's as long as Deardorff takes that guy out the way, which the impact blocking at 99 will make him do. You see, you see what he's doing? You, you see that? You see what everybody's doing? 
I want you guys to focus on what's happening because this is why I told you guys like three months ago, get impact blocking linemen. When everybody was wondering about all this other stuff and I was telling you guys about the threshold and you guys are like, yo, yo, bro, why, yo, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? You see what Deardorff is doing? You see, listen, listen, he's not pancaking them, but he's everywhere. He doesn't care, bro. The dude is, yo, I don't know what he's on. Maybe he's on what Michael Irvin's on, straight crack. But bro, he's everywhere. And this guy is throwing people around. I can easily go and, you know, go for a touchdown on that play. So with him being 99 impact block, that's very, very huge. So I already know based on the last one that I had that he was a good player. But now it's a wrap. Now it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, going forward, it's, it's going to be pretty good for me because I already know. Okay, right there. Who is that? Daredoff went to go inside like an idiot. But that's going to, yo, that's going to happen sometimes. But the reason behind that happening, it's a little bit more than EA developers being complete idiots. But look, he's going to go and smash these guys up. The, the roaming linebacker, He's not going to pay attention to that guy sometime because, honestly, he has to make sure that these the down linemen, Casey Hayward and uh, Dupree, him and Grunk, that's their responsibility. The Roman lineman, the, the Roman guy right there, that's more of the fullback. That's supposed to get out there to make the play. But Bo Jackson is an idiot. So what he does is he goes after the, um, the corner. He goes after the corner that... Julio Jones just leaves and goes after the safety for some reason. This is bro it's it's broken blocking assignments that EA doesn't understand what's going on because realistically that Roman linebacker in Shazier that that's who Bo Jackson is supposed to be going to block. So that's what happens and still yet Deardorff is still trying to make the play. Now this is just going based on real football. This is real football, not Madden 18. You know I'm talking about like real football when I played. When you have assignments, you those are the things you're supposed to do. But the mechanics in Madden has been broken for a while. And I don't think that, the, you know, pro the, will they ever get it right? I don't know. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because they keep doing the same things over and over again. Right there, that's just a block shed. There's nothing you can do about that. But all in all, I just wanted you guys to be able to see that Deardorff is going to make sure that his guy is blocked. Everything else that happens after that, we got to just deal with what he is going to deal with. But he adds a very, very good... Uh, part, you know, to my to my actual offensive line now. So if you guys already had him, that's great. But I know a lot of you guys recommended him in streams. I got him. We're going to see how he works out for us. But, you know, only time will tell how it's going to work out. You know what I'm saying? We have to just wait it out and see what goes on. Okay, so Deardorff sold too. That was the old Deardorff. I got rid of him for 99K. We got two wins. We got the daily XP pack up to 450K. All right, give me my 5K real quick, EA. Give me my 5K real quick so I can go on with my day. All right, so we got 6K. All right, thanks for the extra 1K, bro. Yo, EA Sports. Yo, I could have really did with four, what? Spring countdown with contracts. All right, 2,500 contracts. I'll take those. Um, so that's pretty much where we are. We got the Dan Deard off. What, 50 coins? Thanks, EA. So we, we will continue to try to build up our O-line and see where it goes with that. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, thank you guys for watching. Definitely go ahead and share the video. Let's get 25K views on this one. Definitely like and share. I'll see you guys next time. One love.